Believe it or not, we seem to be getting another update before Christmas. It's currently on the test server and I expect it to be live very shortly. So, what are we getting? A new game mode? New heroes? We're finally getting a sky? Well, unfortunately none of those, I'm sorry. The next update is gonna be balancing some of the unused heroes in order to like try to balance different builds a little bit because the meta is currently just physical summon for everything pretty much and it's gonna be changes made to Zeus, Elizabeth, Poseidon, a TNT Goblin and the Golem Master and there's also a pay to win feature that's gonna be uh, presented in the next update. I will also cover that in this video and also some small changes. One really good quality of light change coming up as well. So we'll go through all of that. I'll try to make this quick. So let's start with going through the heroes and the changes they are going to be making and some of my test results with using those new heroes. So let's take a look at Zeus first. He looks really cool so I'm happy he's getting some updates. If you take a look at the base promotion we can see the amount of Thunderbolt hits has been increased from 3 to 7. Also the base damage has been also increased a little bit. And also there's this new thing called the Thunder Hammer which will give hit 5 enemies with 100% damage. So this will also help Zeus deal more damage now hopefully in, in waves and in other game modes. And if we take a look at the promotion paths, the left hand promotion is still the quick charge promotion. Uh, the amount of speed increase has been reduced, it's 100% for the second promotion and 200% for the last promotion, but it's now also not also only increase the attack speed of Thunderbolts, but also increase the attack speed of Thunderhammer, so I guess that's a way to reduce it a little bit to balance that things out. But there's, there's more Thunderbolts on this promotion now as well, because of the base amount of Thunderbolts we are getting from the base hand promotion. And on the right side, we are getting even more Thunderbolt hits but we are not getting the quick shots and like previously we are having the slow in here this is the same what we are currently having in here but this left hand side promotion during my quick testing in waves I will talk more about the results after going all, through all the heroes but she just can really do some damage with my quick testings and keep in mind these are done with account that's over 3 million waves in so there might be differences in lower level accounts but these are like my my initial tests, I, I tried to use them be, instead of Dark Bowmaster on my build because that's really the only hero I feel like we might be able to replace, replace with some other hero. But we'll talk more about that after going through all, all the heroes. And let's go with Poseidon next. Now if we look at the promotion tree we can instantly see there's changes because there's now two paths instead of just one. And in the base promotion the Water Blast has been removed. And we are getting more hits for the Water Slash from 2 to 5 hits, the increase. And the damage is the same as previously. And the Water Blast has been moved to the left-hand side promotion of Poseidon. But there's one Water Blast for the second promotion, the same amount of Slash hits, and the same amount of Slash hits, and three Water Blasts for the last promotion of the left-hand side path. So there's, the Water Blast is now in there. And on the right side, we have a completely new we still have the same amount of water slashes in all promotions. There's this water spear which will summon and equip a water spear that will do 800% damage, attacks 10 times and attack speed is 0.3 seconds. And the final promotion increases this damage to 900%. And with my initial testings, this right hand side promotion does more damage than the left hand side promotion even with some runes and, and stuff. So it seems like the stronger version, at least for now. And he can also do some damage. Like Zeus, he can really do some damage. As with my initial testings on, on, on this hero. So, so far I'm pleased that things are actually improving. But let's take a look at Elizabeth next. And now this is where things get a little bit weird, I would say. Like, when we now have the final promotion divided into two sections instead of just the one we currently have. But let's take a look at these promotions and... In the first base promotion, the Kraken has been removed and Headshot has been moved up from the lower promotions up here. And the critical damage for Headshot is plus 300% in here. And in the current version we have, it's plus 800%. So that sounds a little weird. We are balancing heroes, trying to make them more useful. Elizabeth hasn't been that strong before anyway. And the second promotion will give us the Dual Pistols, which we currently have as well. But in the game version we have now, the attack speed increase is plus 200%, so now it's plus 100%. So there's also seemingly decrease in stats for this hero. That's a bit weird, maybe I'm missing something in here. Uh, the, the final promotion, which is divided into two, is it's Kraken for the bind. 
in here that we normally have in the base promotion. The duration of the bind has been increased with two seconds, so there's that's an, that's an increase. So this, this the other amounts are the same. It's still the 300% and still the 100% and plus one hit. There's no improvements in here for the final promotion. It just brings the Kraken in here. And on the right side, there's a different type of Kraken. So there's two, two different Krakens and this one does damage. 150% per hit for 10 seconds. And I guess that's the reason why Dual Pistols has been nerfed as well. I'm not sure, but with my initial testings, Elizabeth doesn't really do as much damage as compared to the other two we just went through. Maybe I'm really missing some key point in here, but it just doesn't really seem like a very good update for, for her, which is sad. I really would like to use, like, Ice Meta is something I would like to use if that's possible in the future, but with this, it doesn't really seem possible. Like I said, maybe I'm missing something, but that's with my initial testings with this hero. We have two heroes left to go. Let's take a look at the TNT Goblin next. And here we are now. You might immediately spot some sort of visual change in here. Let's start from the top. The left-hand side promotion has been changed. And in here, make a TNT, the damage has been increased from 100 to 150%. And for the second promotion, the cooldown speed for TNT Factory has been decreased. But supposedly it now affects both casting and attack speed instead of just casting speed. So I guess that kind of balances it out. But what's really interesting is the third promotion, which gives him this portal behind him, which is a little bit too spinny for my taste, if you ask me. And it gives him the ability of the TNT portal. So it teleports the TNT in front of the enemy. Now, if you take a look at the normal attack, he throws the TNT at the enemy, kind of slow, projectile going to attack the enemies. And with this new promotion, the TNT will immediately teleport to the enemy. It's like kind of a hit scan hit for the TNT, so that makes him able to hit the enemies more consistently. So that's the change for this TNT Goblin, and well, I don't like the spinning thing, it's too spinny for my taste. But it kind of looks super cool though, I must admit. And we have one hero left to go through, and that is the Golem Master, which is a really, really unused hero in the current meta. It's not really that great, great hero to be used. And what has changed in here is the middle promotion, and especially the imperfect gems promotion ability in here. So instead of now we have, it summons a random gem golem. So now we have a unique gem golem gem is activated depending on which floor the golem master is located on your uh, tower. So if we take a look, like if we, if you place the golem master on the bottom row, it will activate the fire gem golems. On the second row, it's the ice. Third one is lightning and fourth one is supposed to be poison, but it seems Maybe bug right now, it seems to be random. And the 13th hero slot, if you have that, that's supposed to be random according to the notes. But those are should be the fire, ice, lightning, and poison, depending on which floor you have it on. And what's kind of cool with this is that if we have him on the second floor, for example, for ice gem golems, and we have the skill node in here that will activate the imperfect gem skill once more, so now it will use the ice golems twice. We will be having four ice golems on the field. But we can also now just equip the Ice Gem Sapphire Treasure in here as well if we want to. Not that it's a really great thing to do, but it's just a cool thing we can do. So if we take a look at here carefully, it's kind of hard to see, but there should be six of these Ice Gem Golems on the field right now. So that's kind of a like a cool update. Does it really make him still a good hero? Probably not, but it's still a change and improvement that has been made to the current existing version of the Imperfect Game. Gem, and I think that's a better one than what we currently have. So that's an improvement. So that's the heroes done, and we have two things left. But let's talk about the damage results a little bit. So Zeus and Poseidon at least can do some serious damage. But are they going to be shaking the meta? Are we going to be changing to those heroes? And the answer is probably not. Like, they can do damage, and that's for sure. They can be used in that way. But there's not... Like, they, they don't really do anything better than some of the existing heroes already do. So there's like... Not really a trade-off where you can drop some of the damage dealing heroes and take one of them instead and that's a real issue because there's no really point of taking another damage leader in your build because that would just make your build so much more expensive to keep up and that's just not an ideal situation to do so they're not really boss killers so instead of dark bow master they could be used but you will lack that boss damage which will probably well get you a lot of waves lost especially on the higher devil home level so could be used at least on certain levels but maybe not enough that they will immediately change the meta from what we currently have so I, i'm quite comfortable just using my old build for now and you should be as well
But yeah, we still have two things left. And this one is my favorite part of this update so far. And it's an upgrade to the Strange Ski Treasure. And instead of just boosting the Dragon's item drop rate, it will now also give us plus 0.1% increase to the Dungeon Rune drop rate. And you might think like, 0.1%, that's freaking useless. But when we take a look at the Expert Dungeon, and the two most rarest runes there are, the cooldown skill level rune and the town archer rune, which you will need four in the end. The base drop rate for these is 0.1%, and that's insanely low. It's insanely hard to get these runes, and with the updated strange key, the drop rate is now 0.2. Sure, it's still extremely low, but it's basically 100% increase to what we have currently. So yes, I will gladly take this update just because of this increase for the Strange Key Treasure. And finally, if the Strange Key was my favorite thing, this is probably my least favorite thing. It's an update to the item boxes and you can now also get rune stones with item boxes. So with five boxes, you can open up one rune stone and it will work like this, so once you open the box, you will have a 50% chance to get a beginner dungeon rune, 30% chance to get an intermediate dungeon rune, and 20% chance to get an expert or advanced dungeon rune. It's hard to be consistent with naming these things, I guess. But yeah, so you have a 20% chance to get the best tier runes in the game, and then it will determine which rune and the values. So this is probably... Like, yeah, it's, it's a pay to win thing. You can use a lot of money if you want, and you don't have to farm the dungeon to just get your runes if you want. And I mean, if you want to spend a lot of money in the game, it's, it's not my problem, but I don't really like this kind of thing in my way because it, it takes away the last thing we have in this game pretty much that you have to manually do if you want to get good things and advance uh, far in the game. So, with money, you can now just buy everything pretty much. Some people might like it, some people might not. I'm not really a big fan but hey if you want it if you use it that's up to you it's it's it doesn't bother me i'm, I'm not going to be using it maybe i will open one or on, on, on a stream or on a video just to test it out we can't open it in the beta sadly so we can't really test it out fully how it works but maybe i will open one once it's actually released but i don't really really like that too much so that's all about this update Pretty much. Let me know what you think in the comment sections. There's a lot of things to cover. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching this far. Goodbye.